Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome along to Ringrose Park for today's huge encounter between Hills and Endeavour. Beautiful day here in Sydney, sitting on 19 degrees, not a cloud in the sky, and this is going to be a cracking clash coming our way. Of course, both schools are coming off huge opening round wins, but Endeavour and Hill Sports are definitely not thinking too far ahead. I've just been downstairs, been in the dressing sheds, and both coaches don't want to put the cart before the horse, but you just get a bit of a, a sense around the ground here. We're heading into the back end of the, the Peter Mulholland Cup, and this is going to be a crackerjack gate. Of course, Endeavour was impressive out of the gates, notching up a, a hard-fought two-point win over the Patrician Brothers of Blacktown. But according to Kelly, the coach, Brad Kelly, it was not a season to climbing success. So the coach is certainly putting up to the, pulling out his troops today to say, you've got to do better if you're going to overcome your opposition. So here come the sides out onto the field right now. We're live and exclusive on the Daily Telegraph website. We'll quickly go through the teams. Let's go through the Endeavour Sports High. At the back, we have Stewart. On the wings is Ballas and also Bento. The three and the four is Panatani and Hodges. The six and seven, this is where it could all come to a climax today if they could steer their troops around the field. Anoka and also Perryman. Rapata in the back row along with Fraser, Hilkelia, Stanley Trail, Talfa, and locking the scrum is William Gibson. We'll quickly go through the opposition. The Hill Sports High School at the back is Metcalf. On the wings is Rahihi and also the number five in Kaliti. The three and the four is Pritchard and Lavabidi. The six and seven is Ibram and Tia. And the forward pack of Case, Scott, Squire, Hassett, Ahrens and Durani. So we're underway. Round two of the NRL schoolboys. This is the, the Peter Mulholland Cup. Look for fireworks early on between both of these sides. Both of these sides have certainly brought a lot of passion and commitment into this squad. And the pitchers, folks, well, they don't tell the, they tell the story, don't they, right now? The impact is absolutely savage from the get-go here. And we've got time off in the first set of six here. First tackle. It's a heavy collision in the first 15 seconds. This is what you don't want to witness at any level of rugby league, but especially here in the in the Peter Mulholland Cup. We've got both trainers on the field right now. Just checking both of their, their players out. As I said. Both coaches expected fireworks from the beginning. They probably didn't expect their key makers to be flat on their back, looking up at the stars. And we hope both these the players are, are quite okay. But they haven't moved, have they? We'll just keep an eye on this. It was in the first 15 seconds of the clash. But as I was mentioning, as we just have a break in play here, I think it's calling the senior medical staff and the, and the doctors that are here at the ground. Endeavour Sports High, they could well be, I guess, forgiven for thinking ahead of the, the pointy end of the season. But as I was just mentioning, that their coach in, in Brad Kelly, he has warned that any fantasies of what is to come should just go out the back door. That was his, his take throughout the week as they go into today's clash against Hill Sports High. Because as I mentioned, Endeavour were very impressive. They flew out of the gates, didn't they? Notching up a, a hard-fought, narrow two-point victory only a couple of weeks ago over the Patrician Brothers of Blacktown. But he's been pretty tough, Kelly, on his on his troops as they 
go around today against the prestigious Hill Sports High. Not only, I guess, riding a wave of momentum from their, their own upset win in the first round, but you could also extend that narrative also bolstered by one of the most lethal one-two combinations in the competition. He was very impressed with what he observed, Kelly. It was just fantastic to, to come up with that win against Patrician Brothers, but he doesn't want to put too much focus on what they can achieve this early on in the season. And of course, Hill Sports High, they were equally impressive in their way. In the way, I guess, they ran over the top of Westfield Sports High in the opening round. And it's great today to see the return of their strike playmaker, Tia, coming back from injury. So this is where we are, just outside the 10 meter line here. It's looking for first points here in the opening encounters. This is, this is Clements. He drifts across field. Big crowd in here today at Ringrose Park. The schools have certainly brought a number of their students across for the clash. So this is Perryman. He's dropped down here right on the 10 meter line as it comes back there now to Ikila tucks it under his arm and takes play inside the 10. Back away from Fraser. They put it onto the boot. It's come back. Now the referee, let's just keep an eye on the on the referee. You can hear the crowd in the background. The first penalty going to, to Endeavour Sports High. So this is a lot of pressure coming the way now, isn't it, of, of Hill Sports. They take the tap now. This is Gibson. He takes play just outside the 10 meter line. So Fraser delivers. Is he'll kill you again? So nil all on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. Gone over the top of Encoca. And they wrap up one of these other playmakers just short of the 10 meter line. So where's Fraser? He's got it. Turns it away. Here's Gibson. He run hard and straight there into Case and he's brought down. Couple more left up their sleeve. They work it again to the left hand side. They throw the dummy. Here's an Akoka. What a applause from the crowd. The last tackle now. Look for the kick. Here's Fraser. Give it back to Perryman. Up it goes. They're looking for Ballas. He's in number two with the yellow headgear on. And he comes up with the tackle there for Endeavour Sports High. About five metres out from the Hill Sports line as they come away with their own winger here. Just outside their own 10 metre line. So they were able to defuse that opportunity quite nicely. As we see now, Labobidi now takes play back outside the 30 metre line. This time hard and straight into the waiting possession there of Stanley Trail. He's just short of the 40 metre line here on a glorious day for Peter Mulholland Cup football as it comes back down now away from Stewart. He looks up. He's got the welcoming reception committee led there by Blake Metcalf in his eyesight. Taken down there again by Ibrahim. They're short of the 40. Again, they run straight there into, into Jonathan. With surging run on that occasion by Douglas. So they're back out to the 40 meter line here. So here's Fraser looking around for troops, finds Gibson. He's playing just short of the just short of the halfway line. So good go forward here again. Anoka sending it to the left. So fantastic distributor of the football, isn't he? Anoka, he's had a big couple of weeks in the Peter Mahollan Cup. Certainly leading his side brilliantly around the field. Sean Zanoka, he finds the sideline about 30 metres away again. In the Hill Sports High School end of the field. They take the tap. Here's Talfa. He's inside the 20. So we speak about the the pendulum in the game of rugby league 
certainly swinging. As far as the attacking possession go inside the Hill Sports end of the field, here's Fraser. He's trying to do it himself. Malika, they cut out him. They go to Perryman. Out the back door to Stewart. Is this the first try? <laughs> Douglas. He's got there. The crowd goes up. Well, we just spoke about the possession. It was absolutely enormous. With the Hill Sports high. And he's done well, didn't he? Kobe Douglas to sneak his way over in the eighth minute of the match to put his side out to a four points to nil lead over a very red hot Hill Sports High after two rounds of the competition. We've had a bit of everything, haven't we, since the beginning? We've had heavy impact. The collisions have been every single dollar coming in here today and now we have the opportunity to see if they can convert the the douglas try and kicking judy's fall for the stewart uh, two meters in from touch but an absolute bird's eye view of this one Proud. Riding this one home. Had a good attempt at it, didn't he? But unfortunately, just to the left-hand side of the post here. So, a brilliant start for Endeavour Sports High. And well done to Kobe Douglas. Able to identify that hole and his strength, grit and determination. Got in the first points of the match. So this is the Peter Mulholland Cup and we, of course it's a, a huge honour for the Mulholland family to have the NRL schoolboys named after his legacy of what he's done as a, a talent scout right throughout Australia over many decades. Live on. And the schoolboys competition juggled here. And he's put it down, Talfa. As he was coming off his own 10 metre line here, the very strong forward. Probably one of the, the strongest in the in the back line here for the Endeavour Sports High. So this is a chance now for the, the Hills to to show everybody what they're they're capable of. They've got plenty of points in them. Of course, we've got Rahihi down on the left-hand wing. Looking to come into it, but they go away from him. Looking around for Metcalf. And that's a forward pass. So it's a forward pass here. So it didn't quite go the way he wanted it. They had their chance, though, didn't they? Metcalf always dangerous, provides great chat from the back, very elusive, live wire, a great ball runner, tries to get up in the line at every opportunity and now he's putting his head into the back of the scrum where the lock forward usually does it, so he's very pivotal as Ballas. Well, he tries his best, doesn't he, to stay into the field of play, but on that occasion, a touch judge. Had no other choice but to, to put his light yellow fluoro flag into the air to signal going out. It was on this western side of the, of the stadium. So Hills... Trailing by four points to nil on the on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. A rare moment to come down this end of the field and 
and shine they haven't been allowed but right now they've been able to barge their way over we'll talk about a reaction from the crowd we all thought he was short but there you go they've been able to go bang so we're locked up at four all well for endeavor sports high i guess you and the crowd might have thought that was a little bit soft for them as they pride themselves on on their goal line defense but if you want to strike back that's how you do it and after seven minutes it's now four all and this is a tremendous opportunity now for their fullback in blake metcalf to put his proud school to the front for the first time after 11 minutes of footy the traveling army you'll hear them go up if this goes over quite a few hundred have come across from hill sports so here's metcalf strikes it touch judges they put their flags in the air so a great start we've had a bit of everything most important thing right now is hill sports are in the lead by six points to four with just over 17 minutes remaining in the first half of footy oh, isn't it just great to have schoolboys football back in 2022 after a disruptive couple of seasons and hopefully that's now well and past look at the impact again there from stanley trial and that's forced the error that's forced the crowd to to await wow don't muck around that is incredible well big douglas was in there as well Uh, this is what a schoolboy's footy can produce for many decades the big hits but our referee is just calling over gibson here just giving him the the rules of the game just a reminder of what you can and what you can't do in in the modern game of rugby league so a penalty goes to hills and they find the line here 20 meters out from their own goal line leading by six points to four you're watching the daily telegraph dot com dot au coverage oh, this battle it's intense good strong run here that was from pritchard now they go for a scoot from dummy half and they're trying to get away there from uh, stanley trail so a couple of meters inside endeavors own end of the field now this is hassett just short of the 30. crowd footy might have lost the footy there but the referee said play on and a couple more left up there their bag of tricks in this set of six as they barge their way inside the 10 into gibson does the last tackle now for hill sports high referee is just telling him to to go back away and play it so they spiral it here's tia puts it onto the toe metcalf chasing he's come down with it oh he's pushing the touch so close yet so far for blake metcalf well, if that touch line was about another inch to the left, it could have been a different narrative. With a beautiful weighted little kick. Blake Metcalf, he knew what was on. Wow, he got there, didn't he? But he just couldn't quite get it down for the touch line. Interfered with what possibly could have been a four pointer. Well, here they are here now endeavor 
looking to pop the pass and they do exactly that here's fraser he's going across field easy meet there for the defense and kaliti look at this defense again muscling up they're attracting not one not two but three over the top they're on gibson you can hear the impact the crowd clapping along with every every thump and bang here they're going to kick inside the 30. it's off the right hand boot and this is danger here for rahihi he's done tremendously well the winger to stay in the field of play ibrahim switches it here's metcalf a try scoring machine been pushed in his back as he played it back a foo now with a penalty they're going to take the tap no referee says come back here please a couple of meters just short of the of the 30. a foo now with his second touch of the football so here's fraser now there's a knock on you can hear the crowd you can tell where the crowds come from a huge contingent have come across from hill from endeavor you're after a, a percentage i'd say probably 60 percent in favor of the side that's going to come up with the footy that was the crowd guys we're going to have some fun here today you can just sense that And one try apiece. Now, they try to bust them. Here's Stewart. He's taken down just outside the 40. Given back there now again to Douglas. He runs it towards the 40 meter line. So back away from, uh, from Fraser. They've done tremendously well, haven't they, here Endeavour, to come back up to the halfway line as now Perryman goes short. Here's Douglas. He's trying to link up here with, with Ballas. Over here with the yellow headgear on the right edge is Cyrus Stanley Trail. The toiler of the pack provides big minutes. Back to Perryman. Where's Metcalf? Here he is, takes it tremendously well. The creative fullback. He's been pushed there into the kicker in Stewart. Now they rumble back into Stanley Trail. A real arm wrestle as we expect here in round two of the Peter Mulholland Cup. We're live, we're exclusive on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard as we head into the season where it heats up where the whips are cracking uh, it's just great to have schoolboys football back what a release what a pressure release for everyone to see magicians in magic times backer comes down to perry oh he's close yes i think you'll find t has got there well perry was trying to put him down but i'm pretty sure tia has gone all the way in the corner and they've gone bang bang here with 10 minutes remaining in the match in the first half they lead by 10 points to four on the daily telegraph scoreboard well that's how you do it isn't it get in your face and put the foot down and show everybody what you can produce and boy didn't he do that the number seven Only 17 years of age. And he's showing all his leadership abilities here at Ringrose Park. Combining absolutely tremendous here this afternoon with Ibrahim. And as we said at the top of the broadcast, the combination between the six and the seven could well be pivotal. Hill Sports High, not just in this clash, but their chances throughout the entire tournament so here's blake metcalf again 
this time he's brought it back 22 meters out around 10 or 11 meters in from the from the eastern touch line can he add the extras on top of what has been a, a fruitful display of rugby league so far for for the hills Metcalf this time he likes it the crowd applauding along with just over eight minutes remaining they're up by 12 points to four on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. Of course, this is our, our third year broadcasting Schoolboys Cup. Just a tremendous relationship between the Daily Telegraph and the, and the NRL and, and the schools right throughout New South Wales, of course, in the Queensland schoolboys with the Courier Mail. Let's not forget our friends on the other side of the border. As they now look again to uh, shift it down that right edge. Straight and hard there into the Gibson. So they rock and roll up over halfway now. Playing with confidence, aren't they? And why why wouldn't they? They were down early by 4-0. Little sports, and they've clawed their way back into this contest towards the, the latter stages of the first half. So there's Metcalf. There's Tia. Puts it into the end goal area. Are they able to get back into the field of play? Yes, they can. A tremendous kick. He did well there, didn't he? Shew it to position his body to go away and feel it and to get his side back into, into the field of play. Fraser has been busy. The number nine, of course. Dylan Fraser, he's loves to steer his troops around from dummy half. There he is again. I'm setting it up for Gibson, who's on the last tackle. Look for the clearing kick. They whack it off the boot. Straight to the waiting possession of Metcalf. This is where he's dangerous. Provides good speed and skill. He's the little live wire, isn't he? A tremendous couple of years in schoolboys footy. Taken down there, of course, by Fraser. Here's Khaleesi. Coming in off his wing. They're just short of the of the 30 meter line here as they look at Gang to put the pedal to the metal. Drifting across field. So inside the 20 here. Leading by 12 points to four. Good short ball. Here's Pritchard. He knows how to put his name up in lights. Oh, the crowd. Very impressed there by the true Pritchard. The 18-year-old drifting across field right onto his ball cage and over he went. And the crowd loving it. And another four points here with just over five minutes remaining in the first half of footy. They're out now to through the four. Just looking over to our school board here. It's up to 16 points to four. They've had three late tries, haven't they? But this has been... Well, it's been on, hasn't it, since the get-go here. Since that huge collision in the first couple of minutes. Of course, Endeavour Sports High, they are the first to come over with the points of the day. And Hill Sports certainly haven't mucked around after their fair share of possession. They've turned it into spectacular tries. But here's Blake Metcalf now. And right on the touchline.
a bird's eye view of this one. Kicking, of course, towards the, the change rooms. As you can see over there on the far left-hand side of the pitcher. Metcalf, can he bring it back around? Gave it an almighty yank, didn't he, off the boot? Now, we're just having a look here, folks. We've brought the trusty Daily Telegraph weather wall along for the run today here to Wentworthville. We're just having a look at this right now. we we'll just turn it on, thanks to the Daily Telegraph weather wall. Yeah, the breeze is running at 20, 20 knots behind the hills in the first half of football, so they've got an almighty breeze behind them. Just over four minutes remaining in the first half. Certainly intensified since the beginning of the play. This is Ibrahim trying to offload. He does. He is Squire. So he's a couple of metres inside the opposition's territory. Looking around for runners. They're looking around for runners to hit, to hit the holes. Okay. Fraser there on that occasion, though. They need to stop these offloads coming here from from hill sports now that's resulted in them trying to get the pass out the back door it was billy scott well when you're on you're on they're up by 16 points to four so it's a, a 12 point margin here so two converted try margin leading into half time Just over two and a half minutes remaining. There's Endeavour Sports here. With the feed the scrum, centre field. Just outside their own, their own 20. Good grassing tackle around the, around the bootlaces there on, on Stewart. They come outside their own 30 now through Fraser. Picks up good, strong meters. The halfway line now in shot, here's Gibson. So down by 12, Stanley Trail now. On the other side of halfway. A good kick pressure here on, uh, on Perryman. As Metcalf comes through there on the on the chaser of Perryman. So the seven and the one combined. There's the seven again in Perryman. He's been in the last three plays, the kick and the two and the two big tackles. Now three. With a penalty though against the run of play. And Finn Perryman. Trying to do it single-handedly, isn't he? The, the blonde halfback. As the kick here goes up onto the roof. And they find the line. 10 metres. Into Endeavour's half. Tap taken. Given back to Hassett. Billy Scott. Nuggety. Finds himself into Perryman. But here's Tia. Short ball. Effective, wasn't it? Here's another one. It's a try to Levi Smith. Wow, right on the stroke of half time. How about the run towards the, the Oranges? The Hill Sports High. It's 20 to 4 on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. Well, that was just beautiful angle play, supporting your man, backing your own ability, backing your own strength, putting your foot down. It was no fluke, that's for sure. But definitely a planned move. And it's paid off for them. Well done, Hills. So far giving Endeavour Sports High a, a run around the oval here this afternoon, but 
as we know, as the siren goes, folks, they have to go on with it. Here's the kick from right in front. It's a beauty. So that's half time, folks, here in the Peter Mar Holland Cup. Round two. What a dominant first half of football. The Hill Sports High will take a break. They lead Endeavour by 22 points to four. And welcome back, folks, to the second half here with Peter Jolly in the commentary box. If you just clicked onto our live stream coverage today, what a first half dominating performance by Hills. They lead 22 points to four at half time. So 22 points to four at half time. And we're just waiting now for the opposition to come back out onto the field. And the Hill Sports High. Those Hill Sports High, weren't they very impressive in the way that they ran over the top of the fields? Top of uh, Westfield Sports High in the opening round. And uh, Tia, well, he's having an absolute time of his life today here at Ringrose Park being very slick he's aiming to reignite that slick partnership with Metcalf of course both of course have come off dominant seasons in the SG Ball Cup with with the Roosters of course that was Tia and and Metcalf with the Raiders determined to find that form again in the next 30 minutes so we're underway see what the next 30 minutes can bring of schoolboy football as they pounce back off their own in goal area in the first set of six this is the peter mulholland cup in its inaugural season as well if you've just tuned into our live streaming coverage the 20 meter line looking to probe the the hole through the middle corridor but not forthcoming here on that occasion but look for the clearing kick now inside the 40 as the ball goes straight down to uh, to Metcalf and straight past the ball fray there of Telfa just trying to get a get a penalty here he's he is here, Metcalf, but referee didn't want anything of that. Here's Khalidi now towards the halfway line. So 22 points to four. I've seen plenty of tries. Good low tackle there from, from Fraser. The Rani now at the 30. Juggled by Metcalf. He sees the gap. He sees a hole. He goes towards it. He's claimed here inside the 20 meter line. They're calling for the ball to go to the right, but unfortunately, I think he's he's lost it and now he's given away a penalty here, Metcalf. He we went to try and steal it back because he thought for a moment he didn't lose control, but the referee had another idea. So they shoot for touch and they find it here right on the 40 meter line. Coming away from the the southern end in the first half of football as we see another penalty so a few piggy banks here as they look to shoot this in towards touch off the boot there of perryman so they've come 60 meters off the off the penalty so a good kick, kick for touch they're going to find the touch line here 20 meters out from the opposition's line as they try and Open the second half here with a a possible four-pointer as Perryman shows it. He's the showman out there, isn't he? On the number seven's back. So they throw a long ball. Harden Emery drifting across field. Taken down there on the 20. So there's Perryman again. Here's Dixon on the park. He's within a metre. They've got deep numbers to the left. They're probably going to look for the winger in Bento very shortly as Hardman Emery tries to go back the other way. 
did a 360 but in doing so he's given a penalty away for obstruction the old-fashioned shepherd here the old shepherd's hook has come out as they shoot this into touch and find the line good kick for finder they're short of the 30. They take the tap and jostle back now. This is Lavard Beauty. Levi Smith now to the halfway. Given back from Scott. Lavard Beauty. So here's Tia. Looking around. He's trying to steer his troops. The Rani now. Tia short. But they've gone for the intercept. As in Devon now try to put the foot. Full throttle. And Stewart now. The defense combines. Just outside the 20. There on that occasion. A Finau in 17 is on the field for Hill Sports as well, so he's got fresh legs. As Fraser finds Perryman, putting it onto the boot. This is Cooper Rahihi playing over there on the on the left side, on the left edge. On this right edge, we'll have Khalidi. Lining, of course, with Labadidi. So just over 24 minutes remaining in this one. This is round two of the NRL Schoolboys Cup. Hit a Holland Cup. Good surging run. Trying to dominate here. Good short ball. Here it is. Metcalf. He steps. He tweaves. He offloads. Chasing. I don't think they're going to get him. That comes back. And Tia. He's under the post. The crowd goes up. Beautiful work. That was absolutely brilliant. From Tia. Wow. What can he do? Magician like. A big run. A big surge. And the offloading ability. And who was Johnny on the spot? It was little Tia. Well, he ain't so little, is he? Might be one of the smallest out there, but the biggest harder now. We see Blake Metcalf, probably the the easiest kick this afternoon for the the live wire. Right in front of the post. What a cracker. Get our second half underway. As Metcalf. Kick this one over in his nighttime slippers. It's a beauty. Straight over the dot. Let's pay credit, of course, to the Hill Sports High School coach in Scotty Jones. It was a up and down preseason, wasn't it? This year, of course, there was a lot of rain in and around Sydney before round one of the competition started, and they couldn't do a lot of the, the field sessions that they expected to do. But his team has clicked. The chemistry is there for all to see. As they now run straight and hard there into Perryman. Just short of the 40 metre line. They work again from the left hand side of the park. And again they put the foot to the accelerator. Here's Rahihi. He comes down now to the fullback. They come across. 
They're trying to bring him into the ground and they have done tremendously well there. Thanks to Stewart. They're having some fun in the sun. Here he is again to you. He kicks, they chase, they go up, they collect, they come down with it. And Khalidi, he goes across. They've gone bang, bang in two minutes. 32 to four on the Daily Telegraph scoreboard. Well, what about the kick? Well, he knew he couldn't throw a 40 meter pass from the middle of the field, could he? To his winger there, lining up to take the footy in, in Kalidi. He knew if he could kick it, and he chased it and collected it. It was always going to be a, a brilliant four pointer. And that it was. Oh, they're the showmen. They are the real deal in the Peter Mulholland Cup for this year. This has been pretty much a, a slaughter from the, from the get-go. We see now Lake Metcalf again. Crowd that have come across from Hill Sports High, and there's several hundred here in the grandstand. They are loving every moment. Metcalf has just shanked it to the left hand side, but I guess it doesn't really matter, does it, when you're up by 32 points to four? Just over 19 minutes remaining in the first half, in the second half. So we're back underway. Bumping kick, and this is going to go over the sideline, so there's a mistake. A little mistake here by, by Liam Ahrens. It was one of those kicks, I guess, that was like a, a spike. Speeding at him with an enormous force, spiraling at him. I had no other option there, though, to attempt to take the football. Gives an almighty chance now for, for Endeavour to get their, their second try of the afternoon. So here's Fraser. There's Stewart. Uh, claps all around. Put the potential smoke out. Here from Stewart. Hovering in the back line and tremendous credit to the Hills. They knew what was about to occur. Stewart was just under almighty pressure. So we're just waiting now for a for a halfback here from from Endeavour. Before he said, boys, we can't put the ball into the scrum. There's no halfback. As they come up the, the commentary edge, here's the chance down the touchline. Here's Kaliti. He kicks. They chase. They pick it up, do they? They try to pick it up. But Endeavour, they collect it. Come away with it now, just outside their own 30 metre line. Look at this defence, and that's been a feature, hasn't it, this today and in the last couple of weeks. We started this season there. It's not just about their their attack. Speaking of the Hill Sports High, yeah, the defence as well. They combine well in D. And that pretty much doesn't allow the opposition to have any chance to get the ball away. What a bell ringer. Incredible there from Tia. Well, I hope that came through our special effects, Mike. That was an absolute thumper. There's the kick downfield now. Over there, of course. 
It's Rahihi. Comes back in off the wing. Here's Metcalf. Really one of been one of their up there with one of their best, hasn't he? Along with along there with Tia. Been the Tia and Metcalf show today. There's Tia. Dominant season in the SG ball with the the New South Wales Rugby League and Metcalf has been down there with the with the Canberra Raiders. So they've had brilliant structure in their early journey here in Rugby League. So it's the fifth and the last. Tia thumps it down park. Awkwardly there, but it's refused there by Ballas. Not before they get a, a penalty here, 20 metres out from their own goal line. And Perryman shoots this into touch. You'll find Blake Metcalf was, was hoping that it may not have went over the sideline, but it did. Only just. They're down by 28 points. Endeavour. Nice backline move. Good ball. Here's Hodges. Stepping his way from the sideline. Here's Stewart. He's certainly being collared here by Aaron's. So there's Fraser. Burrows, he's close. They're back from Stewart, he dummies, he's in. Wow, what great vision by Stewart. Thought for a moment they were angling it to go to the right, but Stewart, well, he caught everybody napping, didn't he? And the number one has stolen the try. Only a way he knows how. His tremendous vision. Super stuff. Chevy. Chevy Stewart. There's big raps on him. I know a lot of NRL talent scouts are watching him with a, a very close eye as he he develops and progresses his own career through the South Wales Rugby League Junior Pathway System. But he hasn't really had the opportunity, has he, today to, to shine like we know he has from well back in the field and but we've got a Sneak preview of his how his mind works. Here's the kick. He's got a reliable boot on him. Just over 12 minutes remaining here. Round two of the Peter Mulholland Cup. The NRL schoolboys competition alive and well. The season 2022 and and Ring Rose Park. Yeah, I've been coming here for probably close to 20 years first came here in 2003 when we were broadcasting the the Jim Beam Cup which was the the old New South Wales Cup competition and as you look around the ground now 20 years on it's, it's changed remarkably it used to be the big clock tower over here on the western side next to the the Wenny Leagues but now you've got a Brilliant grandstand, spent millions of dollars here in, in and around Wentworthville. It's a great stadium. The Wainers will love you, tell you that they love coming here and getting out there. Home, of course, of the Wentworthville Magpies in the New South Wales Cup. Just short of the 40 now, as we see Endeavour trying to gain to bust them. They do bust them. They come to Metcalf. They're lining up. It comes back to Stewart. Stewart. 
absolutely filthy. I'd love to know what he was saying to the referee there. But the referee is pretty much spoilt the Stewart party. That's what Stewart's claiming. But yeah, beautiful gap run. And they all of a sudden put an almighty pressure on Blake Metcalf, but he was just taking it all in his stride, wasn't he, the fullback? Wasn't phased by that onslaught. As the heels now, about to put it into the scrum. Outside their own 30, there's a mistake here. Well, uncharacteristic. Is that our little friend? It was Blake Metcalf. Well, maybe, just maybe he was getting over what happened a few moments ago. And we'll see the scrum now this time. Same spot, but different coloured hands putting it in. Referee wasn't quite happy. We'll have another crack. Now Bento is playing out here on the on the left wing. Given back this time now to Hodges. He's claimed here just outside the 20. They're lining up with grit. Rumbling inside the 10. Fraser finding Stewart. He's brought down there by Metcalf. Given back away again from Fraser. Emery floats it. Afu delivers it. They've gone coast to coast. Stepping. Causing havoc. Drifting. Crunched. Right on the 20. Stewart wants it again. Here he goes. He tries to put in the kick. He's chasing the football, but unfortunately for Stewart, the in goal area wasn't quite as big as he expected it to be with that kick. As it goes over this, the dead ball line. As we come back out now to the, the 20, the tap restart. With just over nine minutes remaining in round two. On the hills, holding on to a, a 22 point lead. Just under eight and a half minutes remaining. Leading by 32 points to 10. This is Wednesday Rugby League. The Peter Mulholland Cup. As they scoot from dummy half again. Looking around, looking for Metcalf. There he was. Chiming his way in. Levi Smith. Now they want to take a tap here, but the referee is just... That's the thing I've noticed over the last couple of years, that, you know, players want to take the tap and get on with it, but in this day and age, it's very, very hard to come by as the referees just... They want too much of it in this modern game of rugby league, do they? Here's Tia. He throws the dummy. He goes himself and he gets there. He's put it down with one hand. That's his double. Wow. Well, there you go. What can he do? The boy from the, from the Roosters. And didn't he shine this year in the... In the SG Ball Cup. So he's got great determination. And I'll tell you what, every team would love to have a, a Tia back. Of course, he was an SG Ball Grand Finalist at the Sydney Roosters. He was also in the... Memory serves me right. I think he was in the New South Wales CHS team. This team is absolutely firing, aren't they? Their preparation coming into this one has been great. They've come through into today's second round of the Peter Mar Holland Cup injury free. And they're certainly getting plenty of their nucleus of their side back, which they didn't have in, in round one of the competition.
at calf. Easier kick for him. He bangs it home. So just over five minutes to go, folks. Bills leading by 36 points to 10. With that conversion, of course, we can add an extra two points to that. So that brings it out to 38 points to 10. Take nothing away from Endeavour, of course. Too early to do that, isn't it? They're extremely well-coached team. Good shape about them. They've just had their hands pretty full today, haven't they? Shutting down Hill Sports. Again. Talataina. Having the game of his life. There's Tia again. We put it onto the chest there of Liam Ahrens. He's just gone straight through the bread basket. So Tia, of course, he's got five and a half minutes to pull off a hat trick. As they come outside their own 10 meter line. It's been the two show today. Been absolutely sensational along with Ibrahim and, and Blake Metcalf. It showed the rest of the side lead from us. And that's exactly what they've done. Stewart's been good. Here he is again, sending up Hodges. Fraser. You'll sleep well tonight, Fraser, I know that. It's probably one of been one of their, their biggest gains as far as meters go with the acceleration from, from dummy half he's, he's done tremendously well as Rahihi tries to find Metcalf just over three minutes remaining here at Ringrose Park on Wednesday rugby league footy absolutely brilliant to have the full version of the Peter Mulholland Cup on our doorstep this year as we head down to grand final day a little bit later on in the year there's Tia again looking around on occasion finding his winger in Khalidi Back away again from Tia, on to Squire. You're on the last tackle here. They're going to run. Now to Aaron, puts it onto the boot. Gets it back, does he? No. Well, what about this? Now, the foot race is going to come onto it. Metcalf on fullback on fullback. And it's a forward pass. Oh, I'd love to have a replay of that. That was absolutely sensational. Full back on full back. And they're a little bit, a little bit pushy and shovey here. Stewart and Metcalf, I think we're gonna hear about them in, in the years ahead. But no question about that. Wouldn't it be great in five six years time if they do go on and fulfill their dreams that we can actually show them that 
They played in the Schoolboys Cup. The 17 year old kids in U12. With their life and their ambition. Ambitions all in front of them. And we wish everybody out on the field today what goes behind coming out here. It's not it's not easy as a lot of mums and dads and trainers and staff watching this know the journey into into the NRL and its pathways it's it's a fascinating track a hard track without the volunteers and the mums and dads it'll be even harder they now progress now towards the the 10 meter line Again, looking around, Ibrahim throws a dummy, throw, offloads it, and I think you'll find they've gone all the way. We're broadcasting from up the other end of the field here today, but there you go. Well, that will now be another little bit of a cruel blow to, to Endeavour. So with just over 15 seconds remaining, it's been Hills' day here at Ringrose Park. They've cracked the 40. They've gone out to 42 points to 10. As we head inside the last five seconds, you'll hear the siren any moment now, folks. There it goes. So the kick now. From Bledcalf. It's been up there with in their top three, if we had to name a top three, along with, with Tia, Metcalf, Ibrahim's been brilliant, Scott's been nuggety from dummy half. Can he drill this one home? Yes, he can. So the final score, folks, congratulations to Hills. They've knocked over Endeavour. A convincing win here at Ringrose Park by 44 points to 10. Well, there you go, folks. We really hope you enjoyed that one. The Hill Sports High continue their march towards the back end of the season. They keep their final hopes alive. More than 10 tries here today. They're absolutely brilliant to watch from all across the park and congratulations to Scotty Jones of course the coach he's got his side in tremendous form at the right end of the season that brings our live stream folks to a close we'll be back on deck next week for more schoolboy action on behalf of everybody here at the at the Daily Telegraph a big win here for Hills in the end by 44 points to 10 over Endeavour. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.